So welcome to SBR round 3 F1 series at Suzuka Grand Prix and we race but with a heavy heart with the announcement today of uh, the loss of the uh, great Sterling Moss and uh, we'll pay a personal tribute to him at the end of this race but we, first of all let's go racing in his honour and we do with Lewis on pole ahead of Nathan so Nathan's returned to the series Sean now in a Ferrari and then it's Jake Cozzy, Liam in the Marussia tribute to Jules Bianchi, then it's Will and Adam in both in Hasses, Chris in the Sterling Moss car, Dean in the James Hunt car, he's new, Jeff in the Jag, <laughs> then it's uh, Courier, Panos, Ben in the Lotus now, and Brian at the back. So Ben and Brian on the back row, but both start on the hard tyres, that's something else we'd have to try and keep across. But Lewis on pole. Can he convert pole into the lead? And we're lights out and then we're off. And Lewis gets a great start. Nathan with a pretty standard start. Sean trying to go around the outside. Jake's looking down the inside of Nathan. A free wide into the turn one, but it looks as though Lewis keeps the position. Jeff's gone on to the, the uh, Astro turf and that's going to cost him a lot of time and down to last place for Jeff. But it is Lewis that leads through the uh, fast sweeping S's out the first sector. Brilliant to drive in these cars. Dean, the new new guy, is uh, brother to Ben, who's in the Black Lotus. And he's doing pretty well up front. It's still Lewis, though, pulling away. Slight gap now to Nathan. Jake, Cosy with a good start. He's well up. And Dean with uh, heat from... Uh, I think that's uh, Panos into this tricky hairpin, the slowest corner on the track. And uh, this whole maintained position. Jeff's caught Brian. Brian on the hard tyres, remember. Only him and Ben started on them. But all the drivers have to use them for at least one lap. So you'll have different strategies. And yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy to keep across on that. Lewis with a fantastic first lap. He is racing away at the moment. Nathan just hanging on to his slipstream. the 130R. Not the corner it used to be but still pretty frightening. And then there's a uh, pretty Mickey Mouse chicane to finish the lap. And Jeff has got past Bryant. Probably down the back straight and into 130R but yep after lap one here it is. Lewis that's leading. Nathan in second. Jake third. Cosy fourth. Horrible start for Sean, he's fifth and now under pressure from Liam. And we've got this midfield gaggle headed up by, it looks like, Adam. Nathan seems to have caught a little bit in this first sector of this lap. He's hanging on to Lewis pretty good now. Lewis in the Mansell car, ahead of Nathan in the Lewis Hamilton car. Jake's in the Lotus Judd, which was Nelson Piquet. McLaren, Senna car. Sean's now in the Kimi Raikkonen 2008 uh, car that he uh, used the number one on. Season after, obviously, that he won the championship. Ooh, mistake from Lewis. Got sideways, spun it up, got a lot of smoke off his tyres. Isn't Sean attacks Cozzy. And Liam's in the uh, dual Bianchi car. Obviously, we're at Suzuka, and uh, Liam likes to pay tributes to certain drivers. And uh, he's chosen dual Bianchi for this one. We've got two Haas cars, which won't become confusing at all, obviously. And Ben's off at Spoon. Gets back on, but Jeff's down there like a snake. And he takes the position off Ben. So Ben down to 14th, Brian 15th. Those two both on hard tyres and both at the back. And through to the chicane again. And Sean looks way quicker than Cosy. He's all over him. Liam fancies a move here. And speaking of moves, that's... Uh, Correa going around the outside of Panos by looks of it. And now Nathan is well in the slipstream of Lewis. Lewis looked like he had a good start, but Nathan is all over him. Jake's not that far back. And then the rest of the pack comes through with Brian quite well attached now at the back. Not enjoying those hard tyres. Through this fast Dunlop curve. The car's looking fantastic through this corner. 
again I mentioned Chris in the Sterling Ross tribute car obviously news broke on Sunday morning and this race was Sunday night so the guys had a little bit of time to make a tribute delivery and uh, obviously shocking news but what a life the man had and like I say we will go into that at the end of the race meanwhile we've got to concentrate on the action Sean now all over the back of Cozzy and lining him up at the hairpin but there's no room Cozzy covers the inside Meanwhile at the back, Dean gets sideways and his brother Ben comes around the outside. Dean letting him pass there. This is one of Dean's first races online. His first race was in the McGann Trophy on Friday and uh, showed himself to be a quick learner. Some of the guys very impressed that he's only been racing for like a week and a half. And, uh, yep, doing a great job. Jeff now lining up, Panos down the back straight, should be able to get that done, and the guys have overtake an overtake button as well which gives them a little bit of power for a certain amount of time, it's normally about 5 seconds but once they've used it it's gone, it doesn't replenish itself, Jeff trying to go around but no can't get that done, meanwhile Ben is still just ahead of his brother Dean, here's Sean and what's happened to Cozzy, he's on his own. And the boom says there's been an accident and Cozzy's gone too deep into the chicane, comes back on, hits Liam, Liam's off into the gravel, but there is a tarmac, tarmac runoff there that might get him back on the track and he has, but he's lost two positions and the stewards gave Cozzy a warning and 10 second penalty for that incident, although Cozzy didn't finish this race as far as I'm aware, we'll cover that later though. So Liam will be, for the short term, pretty angry about that. The brothers Milden still pushing each other along. Dean just learning the, the track, learning the series and that so see, and see how he gets on at the end of the race. But Jake now not that far back from Nathan who's dropped back from Lewis. So Lewis is out of, well as you can see he set fast to slap that last time through so he's he's responded to the pressure from Nathan. Jake just cutting that corner a little bit. Adam's the lead Haas at the moment. And still this battle for 11th place goes on Jeff oh he hits uh, he hits Panos and that's caused chaos as he's trying to slow down to let Panos back through and ooh, Dean and Ben are getting involved as well they both get through though um, although Panos retakes the position off Dean into the hairpin Dean gives him a little nudge there at the back wasn't expecting that at all now we'll try and go around the outside but that's not going to work gets the slipstream from the Jordan Dean in the James Hunt livery car because that's the only racing driver he's got any respect for. <laughs> and, uh, probably just as drunk as James at the moment, I would have thought. But Adam had a Chris and here comes Will. Will's looking feisty. He's going to try and get past Chris. Looks like he's got the speed. Lewis again with a very quick lap, quicker than Nathan again. And Sean setting some good laps as well to try and get himself back in contention but here comes Will he's going to look down the inside of Chris will he get that done? Looks like he can now Chris though holding the outside line if he can stay there he'll have the inside for the next corner can he do it? He does and Will will have to think again he needs to get a bit further in front Jeff's still trying to get past uh, Panos oh, gives him a little nudge does that work? No. To try someone else Jeff Brian at the back on his own, still on those hard tyres, probably ruin ruin them because they are quite slow, a lot slower, We're expecting to be about two seconds a lap slower on those hards. Obviously they don't wear out but they, they are not a very quick tyre, especially around a track like Suzuka you don't want to lose track or speed, you need to be uh, pretty constant with your lap times. And Cozzy trying to come back from that incident just behind Liam. Ben now pulling away from Dean, who's pulling away from the Jeff and Panos battle. Jeff then finally gets past Panos, so probably a mistake into the Degna curves, I would have thought, for Panos. But Lewis it is that's racing away with this so far. He's got the break, he's broke the slipstream from Nathan. And he's pulling away now. Not expected at all, this performance from Lewis. He's uh, had a few decent positions, but uh, no one expected him to lead the race or get pole position driving the race of his life so far so 
So here comes Will again. Now this time will he be a bit more decisive and take the position off Chris? I think he's going to go for it again. He's looking down the inside and this time doesn't make any doesn't make any bones about it. Just takes the position off Chris. Just goes in the corner flat out. Takes takes it. Doesn't give Chris any second opportunity. And that's how it's done, Will. Meanwhile, pit stop for Ben and the uh, GPS. And out he goes. Full fuel and now soft tyres. So his race really begins now after uh, a stint on those hard tyres, which Brian have looked to get off pretty soon as well, I would have thought. But can anyone catch Lewis? And well, Jake's obviously made a mistake as well because now Sean is all over him. Sean in the Ferrari tracking the Lotus <coughs> and we got a couple Haas, Haas cars behind that then it's Chris in the uh, Stella Moss car then we have Liam in the Bianchi Marussia Cozzy the GP2 car ahead uh, no, sorry not Cozzy Coria then Cozzy and there's Ben now 14th place on soft tyres though he doesn't have to use the hards for the rest of the race pretty much the whole field other than Brian Will and now Sean is all over the back of Jake trying to go around the outside into the chicane and doesn't quite get that done and Jake decides to pit, pit now he doesn't want to lose any more time battling Sean he'll hope to get some free air and what tyres will he go on to Got to keep track of this, so I'm going to have to keep watching every pit stop if I can. All right, obviously he hasn't filled up there, so he comes back out on the soft tyre. Yeah, that graphic doesn't change down in the bottom corner. You can see tyre wear, and that's where I'm looking, so you can too. And Dean's into the pits as well. I'm going to try and see what tyres he's on, but here comes Ben now on the back of Panos. And blast through using the overtake. Needs to get that done so he can get some free air and he's done it. Into the first corner. Dean comes out on the hard tyre. So he's looking to get them out of the way. Sean with the free air now. Let's see what he can do. He's being pretty rapid when he was on his own earlier. Adam's lagging a bit. And then we've got Will behind in the second half. There's Chris and the Stoner Moss card with Jake who's come out of the pits. Who would have wanted free air. Hasn't got it. Then Liam... And Corrier and Cozzy, pretty similar livery cars. Uh, Corrier's is actually, I think it's a family member's livery that they used in GP2, so we allowed it. Panos has Dean though, still just behind him. So Lewis looking good out front. When will he choose to pit? Not this lap. And neither does Nathan, so these guys go for the long haul at the moment. And Sean stays out too. So Jake has got past uh, Chris, holding on the back straight. Meanwhile, the two Greek fellas go at it. Can Cozzy get past Coria? Does he want to get past him? Uh, look, he's looking at it. No, he's actually nudged him, so these two are working together then. Those two working together to try and get forward in this race. They're now up to 12th. And that's because into the pits comes uh, Pados. I hope that's Panos because that's what I was told. <laughs> Lewis looking ever more increasingly comfortable in this race. Sean second then. Now Adam's third and Nathan's fourth and we've got a bang that means there's been a crash and it's Nathan and he's gone off on the second deck now and straight into the barrier yes and spun out that's really unlucky so he's uh, a bit quick into Degna 2 and it spat him off into the barrier and that's going to cost him a lot of time and probably any chance of winning this race he'll have Jake all over him as well who's on new tyres remember and, well Nathan with damage as well so that will take a, about 20 seconds for it to wear off slow him down for a little while but that's music to the ears of Lewis although Sean is very quick I'm not sure he's quite Lewis quick though the strategy still to be played out and it does seem like they're all on different sort of ideas of how to play this race 
There's Liam. He's in eighth at the moment. Still with these battling Greek fellas behind him. And Brian not quite on the pace today. But we'll pick up some points at least. So will anyone pick this lap? I would imagine Nathan will. He will, yep. After probably uh, shredding his tyres with that spin. Probably a little earlier than he planned, but let's see where he comes out. A short fill of fuel. And probably a set of softs. Now will these two have a battle? Nope, they're still, still doing the uh, piggyback thing. Jeff's in, Liam's in as well. Now what will Liam do? He stays on the softs, we think. We'll check out Jeff's in as well. And away he goes. So Lewis still pulling away in this race. Sean second. With Adam third. And Nathan's off again. Second lap in a row at that corner. He's on the hard tyres and they're not working for him and he's just completely gone off again at Degna 2 Ben now with Will hunting him down in the battle for ninth. Will having just pitted and there it is Will comes out and Ben just sweeps around the outside at turn 1 to take the position but uh, Will with uh, slightly better tyres will try and come back Lewis incredibly still going normally he's not very good with the old tyre wear thing but he's uh, Managed to get to the end of lap 9. Now will he decide to get the hards out of the way or will, <coughs> will he continue on the softs and try and build this lead? And also Sean in as well behind in the Ferrari. Who's uh, used a bit more fuel. Shows you how well Lewis's car is working. He was using less fuel and out he goes. And he comes out behind Jake and Adam, Adam yet to pit. So Jake's got the track position that he wanted. Sean comes out, still on softs, and with free track. Ben just ahead of Will, Will getting ever closer. Will he look down the inside? Nope, not quite close enough this lap. <coughs> Chris with Nathan behind him, so Nathan getting on to the soft tyres now after a lap on hards. And we know how that went. <coughs> There's a yellow flag out, but not sure for why. Maybe someone just run off track quickly short, you know, for a short time. Adam now lagging a bit with Jake just behind him. Adam's tyres completely ruined, as you can see. And Jake on fairly new tyres should be able to gobble him up pretty quick. He's going to have to be. He's in a race with Lewis, and Lewis is flying today. And every second is going to count in this race. And now Jake's getting held up by Adam. He needs to get him, get past him as soon as he can. And this will be the best opportunity down towards 130R if he's brave enough. With Adam's car lagging, it's not making it any easier. It looks like he's got that done, and he does. So Jake takes the lead of the race. Adam still owes us a pit stop, remember. So Jake looking to pull away. Put Lewis under pressure. Sean going along well in fourth after a pretty awful start. And we've got Corey, Ben right behind him, and then Will just behind that. Oh, and a bit of contact between all three of them, and that's Will that's lost out onto the AstroTurf. Looked like Corey was a bit too slow. Ben hit him at the back, and then Will hit him up the back as they all got a bit bunched up. Ben will look to get past Corey, though. He needs to get gone in this race, he needs to get past him to make his strategy work, and he's done it into turn one. The JPS Lotus moves up in the fifth place. And Will's actually been passed by Liam as well. So that's a disaster for Will. Nathan and Chris. I think Nathan may have made a move there. And here it was. What well, was the lap before? And it was on the run up to the hairpin. Nathan just much quicker out the corner. Gets the uh, pass done. And Chris gives him gives some good room there. Even tries to get him on the exit. But I think... Nathan around the outside should have the speed, and he does. Back to your race leader, Jake. And Adam's still going with those tyres. 
there's a point where you can go too long and lose a lot of time and I think we're reaching that stage and he's got Lewis all over the back of him now will Lewis lose as much time as Jake did Jake got stuck behind Lu um, Adam for the two curves at Spoon which we're at now and it's the same story for Lewis he needs to do this move and get it done looks like he's going to Adam's got no tyres to respond so and there we go Lewis has got it done before 130R Sean's still in fourth Ben fifth from the back sick for Liam and Will's looking to get back at Liam Adam finally pits with what's left of his tyres and this will be a long stop because he, yeah, he's probably going to need a bit of fuel as well the lights flashing away and he had 5 litres when he pitted Liam and Will are battling hard I can see on the uh, on the timer on the tower sorry that's flickering around Adam comes out and here comes Liam and Will there's going to be 3 abreast into turn 1 who's going to take it oh Liam keeps the position Will thought about turning in but he just wasn't far far alongside enough if that makes it any English at all Liam keeps position and Will just couldn't quite get alongside enough to claim the corner Dean going along well in 10th on his debut Panos in again and he stays on the softs Jake and Lewis though lapping pretty pretty much similar at the moment but we know Jake didn't put a lot of fuel in on his first stop so the net leader at the moment is still Lewis With two Haas cars go into combat Will ahead of Adam but we all want to get past Liam pretty quickly Will looking pretty good in this race looks like he's got a good bit of speed but coming up behind him is Nathan Who's had an adventurous 12 laps so far? Mainly, mainly uh, making friends with the Degner wall on uh, a couple laps in a row. Behind Nathan is Chris. But Will now closing in on Liam, and he's getting perfectly placed for a slingshot down the straight. Maybe a little bit too far back. Slipstream's pretty good on these cars, but not that good. look back Brian still last and uh, struggling but Lewis now starting to home in on uh, Jake at about half a second a lap Ben now up to fourth Liam fifth Will didn't get didn't get close enough sixth uh, Nathan seventh eighth Adam ninth is Chris tenth still Dean and he's ahead of Correa Jeff and Panos Again, like I say, Brian pretty well detached at the back. But it is the Lotus Judd that leads with the Williams Renault, then the Ferrari, the Lotus Renault, then the Marussia Cosworth. And we've got the Haas as well. And what's this? This is Nathan coming at Adam. And will he go down the inside? No, Adam's covered it, so as as Nathan gone around the outside he has he's just literally thrown it around the outside Kimi Raikkonen style when he gets it done Jake see the lap time and nope he's not he's being very much caught by Lewis it's not doesn't seem to be much he can do about that Sean meanwhile doing his own race at the moment doesn't look like he's in the fight for the lead Ooh, Will's very deep into that chicane that's going to leave him open to attack from Nathan and yep Nathan perfectly placed as Ben Pitts out of fourth Nathan surely go down the inside Will's not fighting it and Nathan will take position up into fifth Ben in again with the JPS and fed him right up with fuel remember he doesn't need the hard tyres anymore so maybe another pit stop from him to get to the end Lewis really catching Jake now though can't be long till Jake pits 
again because he remember he only took a little splash of fuel. Fourth now Liam, fifth is Nathan going into his favourite corner and Will and Adam, Will a bit sideways there that's going to allow Adam all over him as they go into the hairpin, will Adam go for it, looks like it, no, pulls out of that it's quite hard to judge what he's doing with the amount of lag he's got and then we've got on board with Adam now as we head down towards Spoon frightening part of the track, fly into there, down a couple gears, throw it in and then down another one for the second part and accelerate out down the back straight up towards 130R and can he get anywhere near Will as we head towards the chicane, the infamous chicane which uh, seen plenty of battles over time Senna and Prost comes to mind obviously and ooh, no not quite Adam giving a little nudge at the back again it's quite hard to judge with Adam at the minute because of his lag but in comes Will, Will's had enough of that, he wants some free air pits on that 14 so we're at half distance now again Will still not used the hard tyre we'll keep across that, a couple of people have now so Nathan's used it, Ben's used it, I believe Liam's used it but Will hasn't, stays on the softs and comes out again just behind Ben <laughs> Dean's used the hard tyre now and he comes off them. Going along pretty well in his first race. Looked like he went back onto the hard tyre, which could be a mistake, which will be a mistake. You just you don't want to use them too often. Sean second place though, nothing he can do about Lewis. Lewis is literally racing away. Jake's pitted, obviously, we missed that by the looks of it. But he's third. Fourth, Nathan. Fifth, Liam in the Marusha. Sixth, Adam in the Haas. That's Chris in the uh, Stellar Moss Mercedes. Then Ben in the uh, Lotus, JPS Lotus of Senna. And Will in the Grosjean Haas. Corio in his GP2 car. I didn't mean to say that like uh, Alonso. And Jeff in the Jaguar Cosworth or Ford. Then the Jordan Ford, Panos being chased by the James Hunt livery car of Dean and the M23 McLaren and that's Sean coming out the pits just ahead of Nathan so just clearing that up Will closing in again on Ben as Corio breaks too late for the chicane manages to gather it all up and that's a battle brewing there between the Jordan and the McLaren Panos and Dean but uh, it's looking ever ever increasingly possible that Lewis can win this race by the looks of it. So a massive gap now to Jake. Jake on the softs as is uh, Sean. <coughs> so these guys looking to run that tyre at the end. Nathan's used it so Nathan could be in a good position later on. Liam we know he's used it and Adam hasn't. Adam's not used a lot of tyres, he's decided to go about 12 laps on a set at the start. Ben's used the hard tyres, we know Will hasn't. And he was Correa or Panos and Dean goes off at Dunlop. Ooh, lucky to get away with that. Held it well though. Carries on but he's put another set of hards on, that's going to cost him a lot in this race. As the leader, Lewis is in. This will be if it's penultimate stop. Will he put the hards on now and get him out of the way? Nope. Sticks to the sauce. And let's see where he's come out. Graphics failure. There we go. Now oh, it's working. And he's uh, come out in the lead still ahead of Jake and Sh uh, Drake and Sean. As Liam pits. I think Liam's used the hards, or he may be going on to them now. Now he comes in, a lot of fuel gone in that car and now he's using the hard so nope, I was wrong about Liam, he hadn't used them yet. But he'll probably look to do a lap or two on those and get 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 them uh, get them gone. I would imagine he'll do two or three so then he can go onto the softs to the end. Lewis 
incredible drive. No one expected this, to be fair. Lewis normally pretty pretty horrific with tyre wear. Seems to have uh, managed to smooth his act out for this race. Jake quite far back. Then Sean. Nathan recovering from uh, his early adventures. <coughs> Adam now the lead has, but we know he's kind of like out of sync of everyone else. Chris then in the Stella Moss and then Ben in the JPS with Will closing in. Liam getting a penalty, he's suffering on those tyres like we uh, suspected. <coughs> Jeff up in 11th as this battle carries on with Panos and Dean. Dean now looking towards the hairpin maybe. Oh, he's gone a bit deep though and hit the back and he's not taking the position but then they fight again on the exit as sideways gets Panos and then Dean does take the position <laughs> anyway. A little bit naughty, but I guess that's how you learn. Okay, it was a bit naughty. Speaking of naughty, Ben and Will are going at it again for the, what's the third time in this race. Will trying to go round the outside. That's brave. We saw Nathan do it, though. Into the first corner they go. No inch given. Oh, just about got away with that. The wheels were interlocked, but somehow they got through the corner and Ben keeps the position. Will will have to try again. Brave from Will though. And Dean's ooh, looks like he's still fighting with that Jordan. And Jordan goes around the outside but goes too wide and into the gravel. And Dean takes the place back in the battle for 12th. <coughs> Dean needs to get off those hard tyres and not helping him. And Brian way back now getting lapped by the leaders. But He's going to pick up points and uh, an experience, so I'm sure he's enjoying it anyway. That's what we all like about Brian. He doesn't care where he finishes. He just enjoys the racing. And uh, a lot of people could learn from that. Including some people that aren't quite racing tonight. If you're wondering where Kevin is, uh, unfortunately he's left SBR. And, uh, and I'm over it. Off we go then. Adam then heading towards 130R. Chris not too far behind. Ben and Will battle continues as they head down towards 130R themselves. Fantastic sight as they blast through there. Flat out now. Oh, Will's gone a bit on the dirt and he's had to take go for a move that he didn't really want to and hit the side of Ben. And Well, I don't think he really wanted to do that. He kind of hit the dirt and was... Well, maybe try to avoid Ben, but it's too late. Very pretty narrow on the entry to that, and now he's going to try and take the position anyway. Down the inside, and I think Ben's had enough, and just let him go. I'm losing too much time. But uh, yeah, mistake there from Will. So he just got a wheel on the dirt, and I think that's uh, affected his brake, and he, he had to go for the move that he didn't really want to. But they both carry on. No harm, no foul. Jake looks a bit closer to Lewis. But Lewis still with a very, very impressive cap. Sean's starting to get involved in this fight, you know. He's uh, not that far back from Jake, setting fantastic lap times. Nathan doesn't seem to have the pace to come back at these, those guys. Adam's strategy looks pretty good. He's up to fifth. Remember, he's only pitted once. Maybe looking to do two stop and then hards at the end. Chris now with Bet. Is that who's that behind him? Will. So here comes Will on Chris. So head up to 130 up. Ben dropped quite far back now, so clearly having issues of some kind. Let's concentrate on Will trying to get past Chris into the last chicane. Locks up a little bit. But perfectly placed now for a draft down the front straight. He's passed Chris before, but Chris bails out of that and pits. And Adam in as well as Nathan. Nathan really low on fuel. See how that shakes out. Dean comes back for another go at that Jordan. But they're not that far ahead of the race leader. Jake's still second. 
Where's Sean? Sean not that far back. Sean definitely closing in. And Will and Ben are together, so Will's dropped back. So what's happened to him? Well, there's been a crash or an accident. And he's gone too deep like Jeff did at the start. Gone over the AstroTurf and got back on, but that's put him right back into the claws of Ben. These two are having a race-long battle now. Back with Lewis, though. And I'm starting to believe that he can't be beaten. It's pretty close, but Jake's not got the pace to go with him at the moment. Lewis is really whacking in some good times, as is this man, Sean. He's closing in on Jake. Will still leading that battle between the black and gold cars. Haas and the Lotus. So Will fourth, Ben fifth, Adam sixth, Liam, and then Nathan. I think Nathan might have had another moment at Degna because he's dropped back a little bit. Jeff uh, kind of on his own, although Dean's not too far back. Sean pits out a third. Ties go on, and this, well, I would say he's going to go hard to get them out of the way. Maybe do a lap on them and then go onto the softs to the end. Let's see what he does. Nope, he stays on the softs, so it's the other way around. He'll go softs and then hard at the end. That doesn't sound right. Ben Pitts. As before, he doesn't need hard tyres. He's done that. And now he'll just need fuel to the end. These are his last set of tyres. Liam's in after using the hards for three laps. So he, he can go into the softs now and go to the end as well. And off he goes. Not really catching Jeff. Jeff with a bit more pace and oof, Panos, a bit of a strange one into the wall. And he's on hard tyres, that'll explain it. So they've just caught him out on acceleration. Seven laps to go, Lewis looking good. Jake second, but he's in a battle with Sean. Sean needs to go like hell in this stint. Jake will know that. Jake's due a pit stop anytime soon. And then we'll see the gap between them. And well, Jake's only got to run the hard tyres now, so has Sean, but it depends when they both put them on. Well, in fourth now, I'll be happy to see there's no Lotus around him. Fifth is Nathan, sixth is Adam, then Chris, and Ben in eighth, Liam ninth, tenth for Coria, eleventh for Jeff, twelfth is Dean, but we need to see how it all shakes out after the pit stops. Obviously, people still to run hard tyres, so it's not a true reading of the positions at the moment. Dean's on the softs, but it's not helping him get round Dunlop. Survives again. That's his uh, motocross background coming into play there. He's kicking up the dust. And at the pits comes Will and Adam. So Adam's in, he's done a, like a lap or two on those hard, so he'll go back onto the softs for the end. He'll be battling with Will and they both come out at the same time. And it's Adam in front. Will be pretty annoyed to see that. He's in a battle with Ben, remember, and well, that's really going to stuff him. They're all on the soft tyres though. So still, well, we know Adam's now used that hard tyre. Will still has to, and Liam's used it as well, so... Will's the one that needs to really get the gap and try and get a gap so that he can just run the hard tyre. A tyre a tire stop is a hell of a lot shorter than a fuel stop. So if you just need tyres, it's not, not so much of a drama. But Will will have to get past that other house. Can he do it heading towards Spoon? I highly doubt it, but... There's Sean. So we just need Jake to pit really to see where everyone everyone sits, but he's still going. Ben just passing the back marker, Brian. Getting well out of the way. Good stuff from Brian. 
Now Will tries on Adam as he's going to have to try and go round the outside at 130R. Oh, that's extremely brave. Oh, Adam gives him a nudge just before the corner as well. And that won't help. But Will gets it done. Will pulling some great moves tonight. And he gets past Adam. Liam will be next. If he can, as they head down the front straight. We're seeing Liam go around the outside at turn one already today. So I'm sure he'll try it again. If he has to. He's closing in, but is he closing in fast enough? I doubt it. No, nope, not quite close enough this lap. We'll have to wait to the back straight now. Or a mistake from Adam. So we look at the guys near the back. Panos now still suffering with those hard tyres. Lewis still owes us a stop for those hard tyres anytime soon. Through the final chicane. And out he comes. Does he pit? Nope. Stays out again. Will Jake pit this lap? It's pretty low on fuel, but he could go again, I think. This lap times aren't the greatest. And he stays out. Sean's burning along in foot doing the uh, mid 39s to Jake's high 40s. Although he has gone pretty deep into that chicane there. Cost him a few temps, but they're well clear of Nathan now. Chris and then Ben. Ben hasn't got a pit again. Will has, he's got to put hard tyres on. Adam and then Liam. I think Liam's going to the end as well. But he needs to get Adam out of the way. He's compromising his race a little bit. I don't think Adam's got a pit either though. Up to the chicane. Will he get that done around the outside? Don't think so. And he's just trying to set Adam up. But he's hitting mid-corner. That will stop his drive out of there. Now he's trying to go across the kerb and get him sideways from Liam. Now he is perfectly placed down the straight to get this done. Hasn't got any overtake left though, so he's going to have to do it the hard way. And goes to the outside, we've seen this before. And round he goes, stunning move. And Adam had no answer to that. If he had carried on, there would have been a massive crash. So Liam takes that position, fine style in eighth place now. And he'll try and go after Will, who's trying to go after Ben, who's trying to go after Chris. Nathan kind of secure in fourth. Sean though fighting Jake for second. There's no doubt about it. But I don't think any of them are going to catch Lewis today. He's driving really well. Ben now pretty close to Chris. Not close enough to have a go at the hairpin. But starting to line him up. Chris goes deep on the brakes. Ben gets the cut back. But on the outside line Chris should accelerate better at least. He does. But now the JPS is right in the slipstream of the uh, Moss Mercedes. Lewis is in then. This is what we wanted. Jake's in behind. So it's all happening. Hard tyres for Lewis. It just changed then. And this will be hard tyres for Jake as well. So now Sean has to push like crazy. He needs to do qualifying laps. If he wants to take Jake. Ben has a look into 130. I pulled out quite late. But it looks like he's going to get that done. Just gets it and up into fifth place. So now this is the important part of the race. If your name's Sean, and he has got to push like mad, and it looks like he's getting on it. Fastest personal best lap last time through on a 39.4. Needs about two or three more of those. Through they come. Will behind Ben again. Chris is in. And that's him done. Be on to the hards, yep. And he'll come out in fresh air. Corey is way back. So he's pretty safe in ninth place at the moment but Lewis looks like he's got this in the bag now on the hard tyres as long as his pace is pretty good on those he'd be safe because the car behind him Sean who hasn't run them yet and then the next hard tyre car is Jake who's not even entered the spoon curve yet does now but he's far too far back from Lewis to make any impression on him but the battle is for second place can Sean pull out enough of a gap whilst Jake is on these hard tyres to get enough of a gap to take second place. We know that probably Sean's going to go till the last lap. He's got two more laps on these tyres. Meanwhile, Ben's made a mistake by looks of it because he's got Will all over the back of him. He had a nice gap on him, so I'd imagine he's ran wide somewhere. Here, and it was the first corner, he's ran wide, and that's put Will all over him. 
pretty good slipstream down to 130R. I've seen these guys side by side about five times so far tonight. Bit of grass there for Ben on the entry. Keeps the car in a straight line. And now Will's going to try and go round the outside. Bit of contact and a bit more. And they kind of get round there, but it's a bit messy. Will trying to move round the outside at, at the chicane. It's a bit risky. But now he probably try and get it done into turn one. Ben moves, he goes to the outside, and again, that's not going to work. Ooh, Ben's got in deep though, hit the grass and hit into Will. That was a bit a bit naughty from the uh, British driver there. And, but they, again, they continue, they're having a right rough battle. It's a real tough fight. And they've uh, both made mistakes, but both still continuing in the race. That is Adam right behind Liam. And they're just behind this epic battle for fifth place. But uh, Will owes a pit stop, so uh, really he's not battling for fifth. He's probably battling Liam and Adam, which is probably why he's desperate to get past. Lewis, though, on his merry way, starts his penultimate lap, about to lap Dean. Here's Sean, who's still trying to get rid of Jake's. What's he, what lap time is he doing? 40.3. Let's see what Jake does. 40.4. So Sean's not getting the job done at the moment. Nathan looks pretty secure in fourth. Ben is not secure in fifth. But we know Will's got to stop. So that's the gap really back to these guys. Will again tries down at the chicane. This time down the inside. Can't get it done. As Adam tries the same on Liam. Liam looks like he's quite deep into the corner there. And Will's going around again. Now will he get it done this time? Ben's moved to the inside pretty early this time. So Will's going to have to go around the outside. Oh, they almost bang wheels. And into the first corner again. Will's trying it. But again, he's not quite got enough alongside to get past. And this time, much fairer, much cleaner. Brilliant bit of racing that, to be fair. Will showed great reactions to sweep around the outside. But... Uh, that time a lot of respect between the two and Liam managed to hold off Adam at the same time Sean desperately trying though to get rid of Jake he's got to pull out at least four or five seconds I don't think he's quite getting it done though it's going to be very very close when he comes out of the pits and he'll be pitting this lap oh and that's wide from Liam he's made a mistake and Adam's through that's all he needed Chris looking pretty nailed on for ninth Dean and then uh, Panos and Brian round out your runners Lewis comes through to start his last lap Sean's in then so this is the crucial stop and you can see that Jake's just coming around the last corner this pit stop will not take very long Sean's rolling and out he comes where's Jake there he is this is going to be mighty close Jake's got it though he swoops into the first corner into the lead uh, second place Sean will have to stay third but uh, it's not over quite yet. Sean's on brand new hards against uh, Jake's slightly older hards, although they don't wear out very quickly. Liam, pretty angry with his mistake. Looks like he's trying to get back at Adam as Will pits for the hard tyres, but uh, Batman with Ben's probably going to cost him. You would have hoped to get out in front of these two, but let's see. He comes out. He might have got. He might have got Adam and Liam. You know, no, nope, Adam's gone through, but Liam can't. And Liam almost loses the back end of the Marusha, but just holds on. So that mistake's cost Liam a net, a net sixth there. Seventh, sorry. Sixth. I was right. So he's lost out to both Haas cars with that mistake. It's definitely cost him that sixth place. But it is going to be Lewis that's going to win this race. And well, what a performance. Absolutely destroyed the field today. One of his best performances I've ever seen in SBR. Absolutely faultless from start to finish. And Lewis Edwards will win this race in the Williams Renault. Round three of SBR Formula One. And in second place will be Jake Hill in the uh, Lotus Judd. Number 24. And that will strengthen his championship position. Beats Sean, who's 
third in the number one Ferrari and then fourth is the uh, 44 <coughs> Mercedes Patronus of Nathan Tomkinson back in F1 but uh, not, not on the podium this week across the line for him good points though Ben fifth in the JPS Lotus Renault out in centre number 12 and then well Christ look at this sixth is going to be Adam ahead of uh, Will in the Battle of the Hasses then it's uh, Liam in the uh, Bianchi Marussia and he beats Chris home in the Sterling Moss car he finishes ninth tenth is going to be Corio in the GP2 car eleventh will be Jeff twelfth will be Dean who's already finished and lapped 13th will be Panos, 14th will be Brian. We'll confirm all that once uh, Correa gets near the finish line, and he does. So first for Lewis, second for Jake, third for Sean, fourth for Nathan, fifth for Ben, sixth is Adam, seventh Will, eighth for Liam, ninth for Chris, tenth for Correa, tenth for sorry, eleventh for Jeff, and twelfth for Dean on his debut. Past this lap going to Lewis, quite unsurprisingly. 13th was uh, Panos, 14th Brian, 15th Cozzy, uh, didn't finish the race. So a stunning race there. But uh, as you guys know, obviously we lost Sterling Moss yesterday. And uh, well, quite a sad time, 90 years old, had a long illness recently and that's uh, taken its toll. Eventually claimed his life, so uh, Sterling Moss obviously a stunning racing driver he won 212 is 529 races that he entered and uh inducted to the motorsport hall of fame he drove for such teams as mercedes-benz maserati van wall rob walker's cooper team lotus and hwm and uh 16 wins 24 podiums 16 pole positions and 19 fastest laps and well a sad loss to the motorsport family and uh a legend legend of motorsport didn't win the world championship but uh, could have done in 1958 but selflessly gave, gave up his car to Juan Manuel Fangio so that he could win the championship and that uh, tells you the story of a massive gentleman and uh, be sadly missed in the British motorsport paddocks around the world. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you for round four in two weeks time.